Welcome back to the channel guys and in today's video we're going to run through how I stay lean when travelling. So I've been getting a lot of questions through social media recently. Ben, how are you still managing to stay in shape when you're on a holiday all the time? I think the, the important thing to understand is yes we are in different countries, yes we are filming content but I do generally work when I'm here. I'm still doing feedback for clients, I'm still managing work so I think it's important for me to be the best person I can for operating my business and essentially giving feedback to clients. I maintain a good routine and a part of that routine essentially is to maintain a good diet. So in today's video we're going to dive into detail in terms of how I manage my nutrition, what supplementation I take and just give you guys a little bit of value in terms of how you can potentially manage your nutrition and your supplementation when traveling so much. calories quite effectively and in the morning what I will typically do is I'll hydrate so this is actually a two litre bottle so I'll kick off the day with like a litre and a half two litres um, and a coffee suppress the appetite a little bit um, and I won't have my first meal till typically midday so 12 o'clock now um, what I'll also do is break that morning up by getting some expenditure in so 5,000 steps so literally an hour's walk and then we'll go into meal one which will be primarily low carbohydrates um, a proteins and fats meal and that's replicated again in meal two which you will see today but yeah I just make sure that my routine is immaculate of course like I said I'm working out here so check-ins have already been done feedback's been given to clients and now I'm just getting that expenditure in burning some calories remaining in a fasted state and then we're gonna go into meal one which we're gonna show you shortly so we're just making meal one now but I wanted to give you a little bit of a tip in terms of what supplements do I take while I'm away. So I always take a little bag of protein, creatine to keep that in at five gram every single day, and then my essential amino acids, um, which I will have both on a training day and a non-training day. So the reason I do that is because I like to keep my protein intake high. Sometimes you can't always weigh your food. You've not got, if you're out for food, you're out eating out, you're not, you've not got the, the luxury to weigh that food. So you can manage and control things, expenditure, supplementation, okay, and hydration. So 30 gram in the morning, typically 30 gram in the evening, five gram every single day. And then I'll literally have one serving a 15 gram of that a day as well, just as a hydration tool on a non-training day as well. But yeah, control the things you can control. You can take those on holiday with you. Um, so there's no reason you, you can't still track your supplements and stay on top with your supplementation. So we've got meal one here. We've got 200 gram of mixed fruit, blueberries and raspberries. We've got 30 gram of protein. And then we've got 20 gram of 85% dark chocolate. So a nice light first meal. But again, is the, the volume of that is, is is a lot, so it feels like I'm eating a lot of food. Um, it's all about being smart with your food sources and your food choices on holiday. Um, so yeah, a nice light first meal going in at midday, and then we'll show you some more tips and tricks to essentially stay lean whilst traveling. So meal two going in, so two o'clock, half two, you can see how we've pushed the meals back. Again, no carbohydrates in this meal. So we've got 200 gram of chicken, and then we've got tomatoes and broccoli. Um, so we'll get this in. And this is just, again, another tip of how to manage your food. So what I'm doing here is the volume of protein is quite high, and then the volume of greens and veggies high. So that's gonna keep me full, keep me satiated. That way I'm hitting my protein, but I'm not essentially having any unnecessary calories through carbohydrates. I don't feel like I need them just yet in the day. So let's get it. So, I'm gonna head to the gym now. Two rice cakes. You know the, you know the drill. 
you know the roll carbohydrates play so obviously he's going to give me a little bit of an energy boost prior to training primary source of, of energy so i'm going to have two of these monster and then take you to the gym so we're going to hit a big pull session uh which i'm excited to do so I'll show you through how to connect with certain movements intensity again um, and then just generally give you more knowledge and more education in terms of how you should be structuring your pool sessions as well as connecting with them. But for now, two rice cakes and a monster. Head to the gym. Just touched down at B-Fit Gym in Ibiza. We're going to hit a pool session, but you're not going to see this in video, this video. You're going to see it next week. So stay tuned, but it's an unbelievable gym. There's all the outside area which we're going to utilise for content and reels and of course we're going to have a sick pool session inside um, but this outside bit is getting rinsed. We've got the speaker on, tunes on, we're going to make the most of it so stay tuned and don't miss this video next week. cereal so again low fat milk usually I have protein with this but I want a little bit more protein later so I'm gonna have a shake so post workout replenish your glycogen stores you know the role that plays 80 gram of this um, and then we'll eat this and we'll show you the rest of food so as you can see I'm not eating many carbs at the minute but of course in order to fuel your body appropriately after a session it's important to get carbohydrates in so we opt for cereal replenish the glycogen stores fill me up keep me satiated and then we're on to the next meal. So, back at the gaff. And again, like I said, um, when you're in a beef, you don't know what's in store at night time. You could be up till 6 a.m. in DC 10. You could be at STK having banging food. So, I just generally limit as many calories as I can because you never know what you've got in store. Um, so, yeah, it's not the perfect scenario in terms of nutrition but in terms of helping you guys when you go away and you don't want to do much damage this is what i think is the best approach and in terms of breaking that down from a knowledge perspective it's get your protein in so again as you can see from this meal we've got greens 150 gram 200 gram of chicken breast and then we're gonna have a whey shake as well after that uh, probably about an hour or so which we'll show you but the reason we're having again no carbs with this meal is just essentially because I don't know what we've got in store, we might be having a barbecue, we might be heading out. I'm not sure yet, so we'll see. Just eating this meal now. I've got some client work to do. So I've got numerous check-ins uh, to get boxed off this evening. So we're gonna work through those, but Jordan's also cracking on some work, so if you don't know him, I'm sure you do, but Jordan him, so know him from uni, but um we're both from very different industries, so he's essentially like a fashion model, creates really good content. But the reason we've kind of done this is because we're in very similar mindsets, so very focused. So we're in Ibiza and we're still working, so that kind of says where our heads are at the minute. We're all about growth, 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 so it's good to surround yourself with like-minded people. So I'm going to show you a little bit behind the scenes of what he does, and then we're going to have a barbecue later on. So no two-step in action and no barbecue. Uh, Jordan put the barbecue on, absolutely flopped it, we didn't have enough coal. So, we made it work. We've got 200 gram of salmon, we've got 300 gram of white potato, and we've got 80 gram of greens. So we've kept it fairly clean. What I've done today is save my carbs for the later part of the day to keep me satiated, keep me nice and full. But in terms of a full day of eating and a beef, we've not done bad at all. We've, we've kept very on plan, no drinking, no, food out at restaurants, literally as clean as you get today. So you've seen a clear example of how you can manage your nutrition on holiday. Now, after this meal, we'll have the 30 gram away that I mentioned earlier that I was gonna have. So we're gonna save that just for an hour before bed, just gonna chill. But yeah, hopefully you've taken a lot away from this video in terms of how to structure not only your nutrition, but your supplementation. I also talked about hydration, keeping it like five to six liters to make sure you're hydrated, it's hot, you're gonna lose water. 
Um, so you've got a good rundown of supplementation, hydration, expenditure and nutrition, all the key variables to maintain and stay in shape while on holiday and not lose your progress. So remember, whatever you want to see from the channel, let me know. Like, comment and subscribe. But thank you for watching as always.